All right, here's a Sears Suburban tractor tech tip. This is for filling up the transmission fluid on a hydro track. This would be the older hydro tracks, not the newer like 76 and ups. This is only for like the hydro track 12, 14s, 15s, and things like that. So there is a fill plug right here on the top of the frame. Hard to see, but down there, there's a fill plug in there. There's a drain plug on the very bottom of the rear part of the transmission. This is the geared part of the transmission here. That's the drain plug there. And if you look up underneath it, about halfway up right there, there is a uh, plug that you take out when you're filling it. When the fluid starts dripping out of that, you know that you're full. So there's two parts to the transmission on these. The rear part is just strictly gears. That has the axle shaft and things like that on it. And then there's also a hydro portion, the hydro pump portion of it, which is this guy here. So underneath this one, there's a plug right here that you take out, drain all the fluid out of this guy. And then you actually have to take out the dipstick, which is this right here, this tube coming up. You have to take that out and fill it through that. So the hydrostatic portion of the transmission uses ATF like Dexron 5 or Dexron Mercon. I forget exactly how much it takes, but I basically just drain it all out and then refill it until it comes out the vent tube. The first five or six times you run it, you'll have some leak out as it expands, but that's not really a big deal. So you have to take that vent tube completely out, fill it through that hole, put the vent tube back in for the hydrostatic portion of the transmission. And then the rear portion, which is the geared portion, again, you fill it in through the top. And you know it's full when the fluid starts leaking out that hole on the back of the transmission that's about halfway up it. One other thing to keep in mind when looking at the hydro track when you're refilling the, the gear oil part of the rear end, this plug is actually a breather. So that little hole that's in the top there and the hole that's in the bottom need to be clear. Otherwise, you'll end up having oil leaking out your axle seals because this needs to vent as the transmission gets hot. So keep that hole clear.